Then we got most of the bars all fitted. Barrels here are welding. Like a big jigsaw puzzle, man. A lot of bars. Like a jungle gym. Like a jungle gym, he said. <clears throat> but it's all coming together real good. Just a matter of time. Alright guys, another little update. Here's the deal of what we did so far. Got all these bars in. This one's tacked in. He's gonna come and finish welding this today. This one's in, this one's in. I got half of the cross bar in, this X bar. And this is how I made the second X so that it's perfectly lined up. So I got this piece up on top. This goes up here. What I did was I laid out a string top and bottom. All right? The bottom string is the one that's going to be the center. And that goes like that. And you can see that's dead on the money. Right? Yeah, come around, man. So that's dead on. And then what we do is you get a piece of angle iron like this. See this piece of angle iron? Hmm. And you make a cut out on it like that, you put the cutout on that half, now the cutout is here, and the next pipe that goes on has to line up and sit inside that flush, just like that, and when they're sitting like that, and there it is. Now these are, this, this is flush, all that's flush, and when you look at it from the back, you got a perfect X. Yeah. And that, that goes just like that. And that's how that goes. So we'll be welding that in today. This will come off. I, take, I just wanted to show you guys how we did that. We'll take the string out. Basically, it's, it's sitting like this. And the, pipes in the middle right, and the pipes in the middle of it lined up perfectly end to end like that I'm back here actually like that yep. so don't forget to you gotta subscribe take it real, you gotta yeah. go real slow when you're doing it we'll get all the updates for you yep. guys subscribe to the channel get all the new videos when we come out this is all done here now we're gonna put a yeah, that's all welded in now. I'm putting a plate here like this. Are you going to make the ones for the to go to the body? Yep, right here. This is going to go here. And I'm only going to put this one on like this. Okay. And this is going to sit just like that. Yeah, right now there's really nothing holding the back of the body well, up. Except for the back ones. Except for, that's all except for the back there. ones. So that's going to go like that. Right? You can see it from here probably. Yeah, you can see it. And that's it. And this thing's rock solid. Okay. We're changing a couple of things up. So we had the fuel lines running down the inside of the rocker. Yeah. But the cable that we had, the cable drive for the fuel pump. That one down there. <clears throat> that went up here like this before it contoured the floor. It was a lot and lower. It, and ended up down here like this. And the pump sat here. And the tank was higher. Now the cable, because it's got to make this big loop, the cable's going to be way up here. And the pump would sit higher. And the pump is going to sit higher than almost as high as the tank. So, the so, the so, tank has the gravity feed it. Right. So, so it's got to get gravity fed. And we so can't, we're gonna we can't do is we're gonna that actually, cable. We're going we're gonna to just change it over and put the fuel pump. We're going to make a tank front. in the front of it because yeah. it'd be a lot cheaper than getting another one of those two feet longer. Right. So, to get that cable made up again, it's a pain in the ass. So, we're going to, and then 
you got all the weight of the cable and yeah. all the hoses and then I got to worry about where the lines got to run for the hoses and stuff so we're just gonna put everything up front so we'll show you guys what we're gonna make for a tank in the front after we got all the uh, bungs and stuff ordered for the new tank so the new tanks only gonna be like three gallons the one that was back here that we made this past time was six yeah. we'll that one's it. probably just gonna go in my car so we'll put that we'll one in the and all the all the other fuel lines yeah, all the fuel lines and everything will go in his car. We don't need any of it. So, taking out about 15 feet. 15 and 15. And that so cable 30, is 30 pretty feet, heavy. Yeah, so. 15, 30 feet of uh, fuel hose, which that doesn't really weigh that much. But the cable, all the fittings and stuff. So, it's all going to sit up front. And then we got to make a brace around it. So, we'll show you all that. That's going to come out. That'll be in the next couple of maybe next video or two or whatever but this is coming along real good after he should be done with all the welding today yep and we're probably gonna move the battery up to the front also probably put oh, it like behind the seat right behind the well there ain't gonna be no uh, more seat here but well, it'll probably sit like here where it would be out of the way where the seat was um and same thing reason for that is you know running all the cables and everything back and you gotta go through all the tin work and all that. So the tin work is gonna be next. He's done. The, he'll be get done the with all the welding today. In. He'll be done with all the welding, welding today. Uh, or ninety nine percent of it anyway. And the tubs. We ordered the bigger tubs. The tubs will be here, hopefully this week, and uh, put them on and start fitting all that stuff up. All right, so. The cage, the back half, that's all done. All the welding's done. Daryl finished all that last night. It is now, we mounted the pump here. So we're gonna put right. the tank in the front now. So the pump's gonna get mounted here. The drive goes here. Um, I got the machine shop making up a new... Um, There's the, the shaft it, that goes in yeah. here. There's a shaft that goes in here that drives the gear so to run the belt. We got a longer one made. All right, so that's getting done. And then we got the gas tank's gonna go right here. We don't have any room in the front like, you know, the normal ones that the tank would usually go right in front of the blower, but... There's not that much room here. So we got plenty of room here, but what we're going to do is we took the blow-off valve out of here. I'm going to turn it to the other side. Cut it all back off. We're going to flip it all around. We're going to put the blow-off valve on this side. Put the puke tank on that side. Puke tank on that side. The tank's going to go here, and then we got to make a bar that goes around the tank and around the pump to protect the pump in case something happens. We got a couple little things we got to cut around. All right, got the two ball made up. Got the hole cut in it. All right, so this is going like this. All fits nice now. And it goes like that. And that's going to go there. It goes like that. Okay. So that's going to get mounted on that side now. Yep. And right now we got we're going to bed the the tube for around the gas so tank. We got to make a so, tube. Here. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, tube. It goes from there to there. So we'll take a piece so of wire. So we can wire. cover the gas tank. Take a piece of wire like this, so we got an angle. How it's going to kind of look. It's going to go somewhat like that, and then we can kind of. The tank's going to be up here. Move it in and, and this will protect will protect the pump. Pump in the tank. So let's go inside. We're gonna make it out of inch and a quarter. We'll go inside and bend it on the pipe then. So I'm gonna get this pipe to about that angle that we bent the rod to. This is a great machine right here. The JD squared. Made a lot of roll cages with this yeah, thing. Baby. Right, here we go. There we go. We can go try to kind of one fit more, that one in. One more little one shot. More. Okay. That's mm -hmm. it. Perfect. It'll be pretty good. Alright. Alright. <laughs> We got the dog with him welding. 
So you got the PC? Yep. Cool. Huh? What's up, Ghost? Come here. Gloves are in there. Too. <laughs> Thought I still had it in my hand. That piece fit? 